Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid. Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink with... Dad! Shit! I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I do what I can to help with that, man. OK, now go find Jimmy. Dad? Wait, you're the guy from the dealership. Yep, yeah, and it's a long story, bro. Jimmy! Oh, shit! Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Hold on! Dad. Ah, this is gonna kill me. Dad, Jesus, help! Ah. The fuck is wrong with you, kid? Ah. Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit. You better hope she's still seaworthy. <laughs> ah, dad, don't be all butthurt. At least you got me out of there. You listen to me, you little shit. That kid! Just jumped off the hood of a moving car to save your ass, and now he's gone! And so's my boat! Jesus! Remind me not to come to you for parent and advice! That everyone? Alright, time to get the boat back. Now that doesn't sound good! Hey, that's the answer, man. We ain't taking shit in this thing. Don't break down, not yet. Ah, my fucking boat. Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough, all right? Enough. Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? 
So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Dad, tell me you did not just pull a Russian lady's house off the hill. What do you care? Man, Coach is like my friend. He ain't like your friend, Jim. Friends don't phone their friends' moms in their friends' dads' beds. Oh, oh, what? Yeah, don't hang out with that guy no more. Stop with the emotions. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fools! Just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. Hold on to yourself. You're in over your head and you're up there. Damn. Jimmy! God damn The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just want you to do something! Besides... Sit there! Eating! Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh. Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral hey. sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Help! Push me! Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? <sighs> I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years, but that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well... I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. I had a great time the other night. I'm calling you back Can't about you the listing off of Del Perro Boulevard. Hey, it's you! View. Two bikes. Take your pick. That's right. Oh, Yo, cool. thanks. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. End of the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. 
Give it up, Dad. You've got to see. In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. You shall not pass! If I wasn't catching a face full of your fumes, I'd go faster. Into the pier! Here we come! Hey, we didn't discuss how big that TV would be, did we? How's 20 inches sound? I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing! I gotta video this and send it to your mom! Hey, hey, get out of the air pocket! I'm just waiting for my moment. <sighs> hey, you gonna call me a homo or something, tough guy? Don't die. Don't give him the pleasure. It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> Try and get past this fat ass. Oh, you been in the ocean? Are you just dripping sweat? Try and take me then. Careful, Jim. Don't give yourself a hernia. I got a crack hey, in going on, my dude? I'm doing the work here, fatso. What the? Hey. I'm being hypnotized by your wings flapping. Hey, get out of my slipstream! All that smack talk ain't gonna put me off my stride. I'm gonna gas in your face! You do realize I'm just letting you wear yourself out, right? I'm what? What's going on, brother? Oh my god! You ain't gonna slingshot me! There's a prize waiting for you at the end of the pier, Pops! My lungs are burning, but humiliating you makes it all worthwhile! Yeah, we'll see if you sass me when I'm in front. Don't give up, even though you're losing. Oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over! Sorry. I can't wait to show you something! The boardwalk ain't big enough for the both of us! I mean, like... Literally, it isn't. We're both kind of big. You'll die first, old man, right after you buy the TV. Come on, Jim. Catch up. Imagine I'm a big, juicy burger. Play fair, old man. Try and take me, then. This is your TV cycling off into the distance. If I have a heart attack, it's your fault. Woo! I don't envy the guy who's got to wipe that. Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat? That makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat. The one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Hey, unit. Sup? Just checking in. Hey, I know I've been kind of busy lately, but I wanted to see if you were okay. I'm terrible. The common routine of having a cranky alcoholic slumped in front of the TV or passed out on a sun lounger 
It's completely evaporated. I don't even know what to do with myself. Haha, ha, very funny. I'm not saying you are, but if you are robbing and probably killing again, can you please not get shot or arrested in the house? It'd be really embarrassing. Well, maybe if you were working, I wouldn't have to. Ah, oh, fuck is this shit. Is that yours? Of course not. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, there you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, a. Um... She's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come... She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. Pop, seriously? Tracy hates you. What, because of that Laszlo thing? She should really hate you, because you're the one who told us where she was, you little snitch. Yeah, well, whatever. So, um, Uncle T, man, what's the deal? He's in town for a while. I know we really don't talk about the whole name change thing, but is that, like, cool? I always thought we'd change the name to get away from him. It's fine. Trevor won't hurt you. I know that. Trevor loves me. I'm worried about you. It'll be okay. Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh. Jimmy! You still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Soldier. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliché. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist, just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. 
then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <coughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's, what's up? up? What's How up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ah, hmm. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh. Yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty, then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? I'm gonna get have a sip of this. Jim, come on. It'll be fun. Come on. Let's kick back together. Fuck those girls, man. Yeah. Fuck those girls. <laughs> ah, you're up. Give me a minute, okay? What's wrong, kid? Take a drink. Oh, Jim. That's starting to come on strong. Relax, relax. I'm a little too relaxed. I'm drowning in my own ice. Don't get dark. Here. You'll have a bad time if you go dark. I'm already having a bad time. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? Watch out! I gotta stop. Oh, who was in there? It's harmless. Bucks have been using it for decades. You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving what? out. All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Oh! Jimmy, you little shit. And then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. you'd be on the other side. The other side? What the fuck you talking about? You know, on my dad's team, but your team Jay Diz, so that's true. Whatever the fuck is going on with y'all two, man, I ain't getting caught up in it. You lucky enough to have a dad, homie, so don't lose him over some stupid shit, man. Call his ass up. Dad? You little fucking shit. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you until you calm down. You drugged me and ditched me on the sidewalk? A talk is the least I'm owed. Don't you see the drugging is like a symptom of your own breakdown? Oh, I'll give you symptoms. How's a cracked skull sound? Goodbye, psycho. Get some help. What do you want? I miss you. I miss you too. But you gotta learn to chill the fuck out, you crazy nut job. Goodbye. Dad. Hey, kid. How about a bike ride or something? I'm still not ready to see you, Dad. Sorry. Trevor, hey. Look, I need to tell you something. Your dad's moved in with me. Moved in? Yeah, yeah. 
We're bunked in together, like old times. He doesn't need Los Santos, he doesn't need that crusty old hag you call mom, and he doesn't need two ungrateful brats. Whoa, Trevor, what? He's with me now. Get used to it. Family life was just an aberration. Uncle T. Hey, kid. Tell me again about how much you hate your father. Hate him? I, I don't hate him. We didn't... Well, we don't get along all the time, but I kind of sort of realizing I love him despite him being such an asshole. Mm, bullshit, kid! Have I taught you nothing? He is a heartless, selfish prick, and we both know it! T, you're scaring me. Look, please don't do anything, okay? Don't kill him, please! Please, please, please! Please! Oh, you know, you are his kid after all. You're pathetic. I know, Trevor. Hey. What? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit! Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, st stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, 
a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unitard on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? What? what are you ah, ah. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone shut up. Uh. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. I... All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. Oh, oh, not again. Yeah. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is Look more out. than okay with me. Oh, shit. I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I think they're in here. So, you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh. <laughs> snip, snip. Oh. Look, we can work this out. Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. I, uh... <sighs> oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? What? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So what I don't thing? know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine patio. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, oh, but yeah, yes, I hello. fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his I'm own ass. Really You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I can tort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Hear, hear. You're, like, finally, like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for, like, good. Not an objective universal good, but, like, a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> Do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, Do it. it! Do, Do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. 
fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or Dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor? There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No! No! Jeez! Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. Or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. It's just an online persona! Uh, it was satire or parody or something! I didn't mean it! Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me! Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Hey, eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king and bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Me! <laughs> Ow. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, oh really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd? Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! You got my son in there. Let me take you home. Ah! 
Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. You, do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something. Oh man! With its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly- Enough! All right? E fuck enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. Can we go already? All right, the troll can come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Big Papa. Hey, Jim. It's good to have you back in the house. Shit, yeah, it's good to be back. My neck's like totally screwed from sleeping on sofas. Can I get a massage on your medical insurance? No. No, no, you can't. We should have a masseuse on staff now you're a big movie producer. Let's just get the first show out the door, okay? You coming to the premiere? Oh, yeah. It's like my one hope of getting laid ever. I'm all over it. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Trace are, like, freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux? No, I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. I paid this guy to drive us. Get in the back. Are you kidding? I totally nailed that audition. Have I told you you got the sexiest well, voice then. in town? Pinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm going to ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm going to get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does, because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get Hello? back down here. You're and not to, crazy, like, baby. gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. Crazy. We're actually, like, properly invited. 
to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my necros! Entitled! E. N. T. Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Check it out! It's a premiere! Pop, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll, uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Ah, Laszlo! Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin. The fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was... It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. How long did he say we had? That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. Be careful, Dad. Trace, Amanda, I think they're gone. Oh. Got you, dick. Oh. 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 Be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> Get the fuck off me! I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Hello? Yo, F, you see my dad? We ain't seen him for a while. Uh, no. No, I haven't, man. Oh, great. Because my mom is majorly freaking out. Hello? My fucking dad is dead. My dad is dead! What the fuck, man? What do you know about it? M my fucking dad! Michael? Shit. Man, I don't know nothing. Seriously. Damn, that's bad, man. Look, man, I loved your dad, man, but... I'm sorry, but... Fuck you, man! Hello? My dad! My, my dad's dead. My dad. Uh, Uncle G, my dad. Well, uh, yeah. Well, I never had a father. My dad! My fucking dad! How did it happen? My dad! Yeah, it's, it's a bad business, certainly. I, I'm sorry. My fucking dad! My dad! You, he tried to be a good friend to you, and now he's dead! Uh, send my best to your mom.
This big J, aka J Dog, aka Dangerous J, and I should probably say like uh, Jimmy DeSanta in cases in relation to a doctor's appointment or a reservation. Spazik! You're through to Big J. I'm kind of like couch surfing at the moment, so leave your deets. Hey, this J to the D to the S, holla at me. This is James DeSantis' personal line. If you've received my resume by email and would like to discuss how my combination of street smarts and book knowledge can improve your business, please leave a message.